Okay, so today we are going to draw a sphere. Any kind of round shaped uh, ball will work. Um, eggs will work really well if you happen to have uh, like a white uh, egg, you know, in your refrigerator, that would work. Um, I don't want you to use a soccer ball or even a baseball that has the, um, the cause the threading on it is just gonna add a whole other um, level of complication to this. I just want this to be nice and simple. So we're just gonna go for a nice um, plain ball, okay? And even if you don't have one, you can probably draw one along with me without even actually looking at one yourself, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start um, and this is probably the hardest part. We're gonna start with a round shape. I want you to make this thing um, at least a couple of inches uh, in diameter, at least a couple of inches high. Um, you don't need to make a perfect circle right off the bat. Don't worry about it. Um, if you look at how I'm doing it, it's fairly light. I'm just kind of going around here like this. Uh, we just wanna have a nice light circular kind of a shape. Once you have this done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna imagine light coming in from this side over here. So imagine I have my light is coming in over here, which means that I'm gonna have a shadow coming off of my sphere over on this side over here. And the way that's gonna look is it's gonna start about here. We're just gonna draw this, a very light outline of our shadow in. So we're gonna draw it, kind of come out from about here, comes out, and then it curves around to about here, and then it tucks back in about here. Um, it should not go very high up. Sometimes people make their shadows go like way up here, and that doesn't look very good. So keep them fairly low. You just want like a nice flattened out egg shape down here. Once you get your flattened out egg shaped uh, shadow drawn in like this, uh, we're gonna start by just um, darkening in this shadow right here. Um, you don't need to go all the way to your darkest value yet. You want this to be like um, fairly dark, maybe like your uh, fourth step on your value scale, but all, not all the way to black. So we're just gonna come along in here and quickly shade in this area over here. Like so. And you can go ahead and we can darken it one more time. with cross-hatching. And you want it to be nice and dark in here. Um, once you get it blocked in like this, where we're gonna add in the fifth step of our value scale is gonna be right underneath our sphere, right where it's touching the surface here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here, right on this bottom edge here. So here's where you want to take a minute to make sure that the shape of your sphere is looking decent because you don't wanna have a really dark, wobbly edge of your sphere. So we're just gonna go nice and dark here. And then what we're gonna do is once we get go all the way to black here, we're just going to then just fade that in to the uh, value that we have already laid down on here. So I'm just gonna kind of bring this out and let it fade into that shadow that we already have drawn in. Kind of like that. Um, so we started with the outline of our shape here. We drew in our cast shadow, the shadow that's being cast from our object over here. The next thing that I wanna do is I just want to really quickly shade in some of the area around our sphere here. Um, if you use the side of your pencil, it's probably the easiest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda go, I, you don't really wanna make this super dark. You definitely don't wanna make this darker than your shadow. So this should be kind of like maybe around the um, third step of your value scale or even the second. We're just gonna kind of go and just add like a little bit of shading all the way around. You want this to be nice and even here, as even as you possibly can. The messier you make this, the less three-dimensional everything is gonna to start to look later on. Um, you can also, once you kind of get it in there, you can uh, blur it around with your fingers or if you don't wanna get your hands dirty, take a paper towel and that will actually do the same thing, but just keep your hands clean. Right. So I'm just kind of getting this in here like so. Um, I don't care if I get my hands dirty or not, so I'm just gonna kind of come in here and just smooth that out a little bit in here, even into my shadow a little bit. Like so. 
Um, and then from here, so at the beginning of this, we made the original outline shape. And as you start to shade things in, you can kind of refine that shape. Um, ideally, at this point, we're starting to get something that's looking more and more like a um, an actual circle here. If you happen, you know, if you're doing this at home, if you happen to have a, um, I should have said this at the beginning, if you happen to have a circular shape of something you can trace, you can just go ahead and do that and not have to worry about this at all. So um, I'm just gonna kind of clean up some of these edges over here with my eraser. And now we're gonna start adding in the shadows on our sphere to make it look nice and three-dimensional here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, so this, again, since the light is coming from this direction here, we're gonna have a shadow on this side over here. And the way this shadow is gonna look, it's gonna be, kind of be like a crescent moon shape or even like a banana. Um, and it's gonna be probably about the same uh, value as this section over here, like around the fourth step of your value scale. So we're gonna kinda come, we're gonna start over here and then we're gonna just kinda start along this bottom edge here. And we're just going to shade in this area and make this shadow curve around the side and it's going to end probably about here. You want this kind of a curve shape to it here. So this should be a little darker than the background that you have on here and about the same darkness as your shadow. So I'm just gonna kinda come in here, hit this one more time. And we want this to be like so. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to go and we're gonna gradually kind of lighten up as we go across this direction. So we're gonna essentially be making a value scale going across over here. Um, we, have, we have right down here, we have our darkest value right over here. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to kind of like bleed that into this section of our, um, of our sphere here. I'm just gonna kind of go over and I'm just gonna hit this part over here one more time. I don't, want to I don't want to lose this edge. I want this to be nice and dark, but I am gonna kind of darken in these edges of my um, sphere over here at the bottom too, just so it kind of rounds out that side over here. And then what I'm gonna do is, so I have, this is basically, I have a little bit of the fifth step of my value scale at the bottom down here, just a touch. And then it goes into mainly the fourth in this main part of our shadow here. So now I'm gonna just go right into the third. And um, what I wanna do is I want to just kind of start by blocking that in, just in that same kind of curving um, shape that I did my first one. Just kind of like this. It's just so it has that same kind of a curve to it. But I don't want it to look like stripes. So I want to make sure that when I, once I get it in kind of like this, I go in and I gradually, I make the transition between this value and this value a little smoother, just so it kind of blends in. So I'm just gonna hit, I'm just gonna go right over this section here one more time, right in, that, right in the middle between those two areas over here. And again, I can use my finger in here a little bit too but I wanna make sure that blends in. Uh, I'm gonna use my eraser. You know, if you go too dark in an area, you can just use your eraser and kind of pull out areas in here too. All right, so we're getting something here. So um, then we're gonna go, and we, so we did our, a little bit of the fifth step of the value scale, our darkest values right here at the bottom, and then we're in the, we're in the fourth over here, where at the bottom, this, this lower part of our shadow is over here, and then we ble we're blending into the third, and now we're gonna do the second, and we're gonna leave it with just a little bit of the, of the white space of the paper right up here at the top. So again, we're just gonna kinda go a very light um, pencil lines over here, and I'm getting very, very light. The lightest, the, that first, that second step of our value scale, which is a super light pencil. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge. So I wanna leave a little kind of rounded out section over here that has the white of the paper. Kinda like so. And then once you get in something like this, you can even increase the contrast here and darken in, I can just, I might just kind of come in and darken in a little bit of the um, space around my sphere one more time, just to make it a little darker so the light of my sphere pops out a little bit more. And I'm gonna kind of bring that over here, just kind of come down like that. Um, 
And then once I get in something like this, again, I'm going to be kind of looking at it and I might say, oh, I might just want to kind of come back in and maybe darken it a little bit around in here too. Oh, well, actually, I'm going to show you one last really cool little thing here. So um, the last cool little thing here is that if you have a sphere sitting on a, like a table like this and you have light coming in from the side and you have a shadow over here, you'll often see a, what's called reflective light, which is a little light edge right around over here. Okay. So I know I just had us darken in this part over here, but what do you know? We're going to change things around a little bit. So we're going to use our eraser here for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly just kind of drag my eraser. I don't want to fully erase everything. I want to kind of blend things in with my eraser. But I'm just going to create like a little bit of a um, rim of light right around here on the edge. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and I'm going to darken in my shadow on here just a little more. And then I'm going to blend that into that little rim of light that I put in there. So dark, 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 shade, 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 all the way around over here. Blend that in. And I'm just going to blend that in right into that little light part in here. And then I'm going to go really nice and dark here. I'm just going to kind of punch up my values here a little bit. So really nice and dark here at the bottom. And then let that kind of blend and let it get a little bit lighter. A lot of shadows will get a little lighter as they kind of extend out um, this direction over here. And again, kind of fade that all in here. So we want to get something kind of like this. So here we have a sphere. If you drew your outline of your sphere with a... Um, if you trace that around something, like the bottom of a uh, like a water bottle or something, just to make sure it's round, but the bottom of a bottle works perfectly for this. If you did that, yours will probably look a little bit less lumpy than mine is. Mine has like a little odd little lump right over here, maybe more of a lemon. But um, you should have hopefully ended up with something in the realm of this, if not much better. All right, thank you so much. Bye.